Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 30. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 23rd, 1973, in London, England. Translation. I am now unable to stand here any longer. I am forgetting myself and my mind is reeling. I foresee o- only evil, O killer of the Keshi demon. Viparitani. Nimitani Chapashani. Viparitani Keshi. Viparitani means just the opposite. I have come here to fight, to regain my kingdom. That is the cause for which I have come here to fight. But actually I am saying it is just the opposite. My fighting will be useless. I came here to fight for some useful purpose, but now I see the Viparitam. Just a <coughs> It will be useless. Why useless? Because one <coughs> tries to become rich man, opulent, this is material nature, just to so to his relatives, to his friends, to his family members, just see how I have become rich. This is the psychology. A man works very hard day and night to become rich just to make a show that my dear friends, my dear relatives, you see that I how I have become now rich. This is the only purpose. Nobody is working hard for serving Krishna. This is Maya. And Krishna consciousness means the same hardship we shall take, but take for Krishna. Uh, just like our Mrs. Sarma, she was working in the family, uh, but now she has come to work for Krishna. Uh, this is salvation. This is mukti. Not that we have to stop our working capacity. Simply we have to change the position. Uh, in the family life, we work uselessly eh? for so-called relatives, eh? but the same labor, when he employ for the service of Krishna, every inch of it is utilized. <coughs> there is song by Govinda Das. Sita yata pa bata varishana e dino jamini jagire bifale sevinu kripana durajana chapala sukhalava lagire. He says, the sita yata pa bata varishana. I have worked uh, without caring for scorching heat and severe cold. Actually, people work so hard. He has to go to office. Suppose there is no fall. He cannot stop. He has to go. There is scorching heat. You have no experience in your country. Scorching heat. But in India, 122 degrees. Just imagine this year. Still they have to go to work. So somewhere... It is severe cold and somehow it is severe scorching heat. This is nature's law. You have to suffer. 
while you are in cold country, you think that India is very warm. They are very happy. <laughs> and in India, they are thinking, in England they are very happy. This is the way. This is illusion. Nobody thinks that there is no happiness within these three words, beginning from Brahma Lok down to the Patal Lok. Abrahma Bhuvana Lokan Punarabhati Nodja. There is no happiness. Even if you go to the Brahma Lok and get the opportunity of living like Brahma millions of years and thousands times better standard of life, still it is not happiness. They do not know. Janma Mittu Jarabhyadi Dukhudu Shanu Therefore, Madhyamagatya Punarjanma Navidyate. The proper aim should be only how to go back to home, back to God. That should be. The Nimuttani Viparitani. This Viparitani, when we are materially conscious, we see that without happiness of myself, my family, my society, my country, my community. Uh, they, they think happiness in terms of expanded selfishness. First of all, my happiness, personal. Uh, just like a child, uh, it does not think of anyone's happiness. Whatever he takes, you want to eat. Uh, so, as we grow, we expand our happiness little more. Uh, my happiness, my brother's happiness, my family's happiness, my community's happiness, or my nation's happiness. So you can go on expanding the scope of happiness, but there is no happiness. There is no happiness. These foolish persons, they do not know. So Arjuna also is uh, playing like an ordinary foolish person. The nimittāni viparitāni. Uh, where is my happiness? I came here to fight, to get happiness, and I have to kill my own kinsman. Then where is my happiness? Huh? I cannot enjoy the property or the kingdom alone. There must be relatives. Brothers, I will be very proud. Just see how I have become king. So the, if they are dying, then who is, of whom I shall show my opulence? Uh, this is the size. Nimittāni ca viparitāni pasyāni. Just the opposite. This is illusion. This is illusion. There is no happiness, actually, expanding selfishness. Just like a national leader, like uh, Mahatma Gandhi in our country, he planned that uh, let the Britishers go away, my countrymen will be happy. My countrymen will be happy. But when the Britishers went away, uh, giving the responsibility of Indian empire to the Indian people, uh, Gandhi was thinking in the morning, oh, I am so unhappy, now only death will please me. And the next, the same evening was killed. Oh. He was so unhappy. Uh, because everything was just topsy-turvy. He wanted Hindu-Muslim unity. Now the country was divided. The Muslim became separate. The whole program has changed. Uh, there are so many things. Uh, he wanted that the government should be very simplified, uh, but he saw that his disciples, his followers, were after office, simply for office. So Nimitani, he saw that I shall be happy, my countrymen will be happy, 
But at the end he saw viparitani, all opposites. Uh, everyone will experience that. So long he will be materially attached, he will find viparitani. I wanted to be sukhera lagiya egharo madhino agune puriya galu. I uh, constructed this nice house for living happily, but there was fire and everything finished. This is the way. Uh, you construct everything for happiness, but there will be something which will put you into the most miserable condition. This is called material world. Uh, they do not. Therefore, one who is intelligent, he thinks that if I have to work so hard for so-called happiness, and here is Krishna is canvassing, asking me that you work for me, so why not work for Krishna? Here I see viparitani, everything is opposite. There is no happiness. So that is intelligent. I have to work hard. Krishna says, just uh, surrender unto me, sarva dharma anparitya jamaami kang saranam bhajo. So Krishna is asking to work for him, uh, giving up everything. That is clear, everyone knows. Here also I am working very hard. But here I am working hard to be happy, but the viparitani, I am becoming unhappy. So why not work for Krishna? This is intelligence. I have to work after all. Jivir Sarupai Nitya Krishna Das. Constitutionally, every living entity is a servant. He is serving eternal servant of Krishna. If he does not serve Krishna, then he will have to become servant of Maya. That's all. His servitude, servancy will not go. Deki sāgya kele sādharma. Deki, just like Deki, you do not understand the husking machine. Say a typewriter. So if you send the typewriter to the hem, oh, what does it mean? It is to be worked as typewriter. Does it mean because it has gone to heaven, the work has changed? No. The work will continue. Either in this hell or heaven, typewriter will cut, 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 and that's all. Similarly, our position is servant. Ah. If you don't become servant of Krishna, then you say you become servant of your wife, your children, your relative, your country, your nation, uh, your dog. Uh, at last, if you have no family, then you become servant of your dog. You know, in your country it is very easier. If he has nobody, then he keeps a dog and takes it on the street. His dog passes too and he is standing, waiting. Yes, sir. He passed your stool, I am waiting. You see, it is practical. If you don't become servant of Krishna, then you have to become servant of the dog. This is nature's way. Therefore, intelligent person will take lesson from that I have to become servant. Why not become Krishna's servant? Then I will be happy. There are so many Krishna servants. They are so happy. Why shall I remain? The servant of the Maya. Kama Dinam Kutidha. <coughs> so we remain servant of Maya on account of my sense gratification. That's all. <coughs> I remain servant of my wife because I want to satisfy my senses. I want to remain servant of my husband because I want sense gratification. 
Here is a disease. Oh. Everyone. Even the servant of the servant. Or servant of the dog. Because I like it. A pet dog. <coughs> so actually, uh, instead of becoming master, we become servant. This is the path. And servant of whom? Kamadinan kutidhana kutidha palita dunidis. <coughs> servant of lust, servants of greediness. Kam krodh moha masanja. Servant of all these senses. Therefore, one who is intelligent, there was Brahmi, he said like this My dear Lord Krishna, I am now servant. I have served so much. Kamadinam kutidhana kutita dhultidisa. I have served them so nicely that I had to execute, a, execute something which is abominable. If you become servant of somebody, if he says that you have to do it, your conscience does not allow you to do it, still you have to do it. Still you have to do it. A man is stealing for family. He does not like to steal. He steal. He is in need of money. He has to steal. Kama dinam kotidhana kotidha palita dunnitish. This is study. We study the psychological condition. When I become servant of Maya, even I do not wish to do something. Ah, which is not very good, <coughs> still I am obliged to do it. But the result is that nobody is satisfied. The same example, just like Gandhi served his country so much, so nicely, so voluntarily. Ah, still, the result was he was killed by his country. Yes, see? Result was the uh, re- reward was that he served his country so much. It is undoubtedly nobody can serve so sincerely. Everybody knows. But the result was even a person like Mahatma Gandhi was killed by his country. Oh. <coughs> oh. Just this morning, Mrs. Sarma was telling that she has worked so much uh, for the family, but still the sons and daughters, they want, uh, no, no, you cannot go. You serve us. Serve us. They are not satisfied yet. They will never be satisfied. Uh, you serve māyā. The māyā will never be satisfied. Te sāṅna karunā jāta natrapā nu pujānti. The intelligent man is speaking, My dear Lord, I have served my senses, lust, anger, greediness, so much so. Still they are not kind upon me. They are still dictating, still dictating. Do this, do this, do this. Therefore, Sampratam loved the buddhi. Now I have got intelligent by your grace. Uh, Guru Krishna Kripa. By the grace of my spiritual master, by the grace of I have got this intelligence. Now I have come to you to serve kindly in this. This is surrender. I have served my senses, lust, greediness, and other things so faithfully. They are not satisfied. They still want me to serve. They are not going to give me pension. They want to steal. Now what you have done? You have to do so, so many things. So now I am disgusted. This is called Vairag. Vairag. Jnana Vairag Chuktaya. This is required. In human life, this is this intelligence required, Vairag, not to serve this material world, but to serve Krishna. The Mayavadi philosopher, they simply stop these material activities, just like Buddha Vilaja, Nirvana. He simply advises to stop this. But 
After stopping, what is that? No, zero. Zero. Oh, that cannot be. That is not possible. This is their mistake. Uh, but the uh, people to whom Buddha philosophy was preached, they are not so intelligent that there can be better service after giving up this service. Therefore, Lord Buddha said, you stop this service, you become happy because ultimately everything is zero. Sunnavad. Nidvishesh Bad. The Mayavadi, there are two kinds of Mayavadi. The impersonalist and the voidist. They are all Mayavadi. <coughs> so their philosophy is good so far because a foolish man cannot understand more than this. A foolish man, if he is informed that there is better life in the spiritual world to become servant of God, Krishna, uh, they think, I, have, I became servant of this material world, I have suffered so much, again servant of Krishna, uh, they said, oh, no, no, this is not good. This is not good. As soon as they hear of service, they think of this service, this nonsense service. They cannot think of, yes, there is service, but there is simply ānanda. What is still more eager to serve is the, that is spiritual world. That they cannot understand. So this nidvises by the impersonalist, they think like that. Just like a diseased man lying on the bed, and if he is informed that when he will be cured, he will be able to eat nicely, he will be able to walk. He thinks that again walking, again eating, because he is accustomed to eat bitter medicine and sagudana, not very palatable, and so many things, uh, passing stool and urine activities on the bed. So as soon as he informed that after being cured, there is also passing of stool and urine and eating, but that is very palatable. Then he cannot understand. He says it is something like this. So the Mahabha, the impersonalist, they cannot understand that as serving Krishna is simply pleasure and blissful. They cannot understand. Therefore they become impersonalist. No. The absolute truth cannot be personal. That is another side of the Buddha philosophy. Impersonalism means zero. That is also zero. So Buddhist philosophy, they also make the ultimate goal zero, and this Mahavadi, they also make the ultimate goal. Nathaya vidu sārtha gatiṁ Vishnu. They do not understand that there is life, blissful life by serving Krishna. Therefore, here Arjuna is playing just like ordinary man. So he says to Krishna, you wanted me to fight to become happy to get the kingdom, but by killing my own man, nimittāṇi, viparitāṇi. You are misleading me. Nimittāṇi ca paśrāmi viparitāṇi. I will not be happy by killing my own man. That is not possible. How you are inducing me? So he say, Minitani to Bipuritani Pashami. No, no, Natasaknami. I was thought. I cannot stand here. Let me go back. Take my chariot back. I am not stay here. Natasaknami Avastham. Dharmati Vasam. I am becoming bewildered. I am puzzled now. So this is the position, material world. We are all as in problem, puzzle, and when something better is proposed to the materialistic person, that you take to Krishna consciousness, you will be happy. He sees nimittāṇi viparitāṇi. He is opposite. What is Krishna consciousness? I said that. Uh, my family is in trouble. 
Uh, and I have got so many, so many problems, why this Krishna can't answer will help me. Nimitani uh, Chabipuri. This is material condition of life. Uh, therefore, it requires time, little time to understand. That is Bhagavad Gita. The same Arjuna. He is now finding Nimitani Chabipuri Kani. When he will understand Bhagavad Gita, he will say, yes. Krishna, what you are saying, it is right. It is right. Because after instructing Arjuna, Krishna will ask him, now what do you want to do? Because Krishna does not force. Krishna says that you surrender unto me. He does not force that you must surrender. I am God. You are my part and person. No, he will never say that. Because he has given you little independence. He will not touch it. Otherwise, what is the difference between a uh, stone and a living entity? A living entity must have independence, although it is very little, minor. Uh, that Krishna does not touch. He will never touch. He will have to agree. Yes, Krishna. Ah, I shall surrender. Yes. That is for my benefit. And this is Krishna Khan. You must voluntarily agree. Not hackneyed, mechanical. Oh. A spiritual master says like this, all right, let me do it. No. You have to understand very nicely. Oh. Tesam satati yuktanam bhajatam priti purvagam. Priti, with love. When you work, when you work for Krishna with love and enthusiasm, that is your Krishna conscious life. If you think that it is a hackney, it is troublesome, that what can I do? These people ask me to do it, I have to do it. That is not Krishna conscious. We have to do it voluntarily and with great pleasure. Oh, then you know. Usaha, dhajja, tattat karma pravartana, satu vitti sadhu sanyi, saravi bhakti prasiddha. You will find it all. Upadesham. All it, you should be enthusiastic. Usaha, dhajja, with patience. Tattat karma, pramattana. Nishchaya. Nishchaya means with confidence. When I am engaged in Krishna's business, Krishna's activities, Krishna will surely take me back to home back to Nishchaya. And Krishna says, Manmana bhavavad bhaktam jaji maangna mustu. I will take you back. It is stated. Krishna is a liar. So we have to work with enthusiasm, just not be puritan. That will be accepted by Arjun at the end. Krishna will ask him, my dear Arjun, what is your now decision? Arjun will say, yes, tat prasadat kesa, nashto moha, my all illusion is now gone. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you.